Okay, yeah. staying in the NFC North and the soon to be franchise quarterback of the Chicago Bears, Caleb Williams, uh, expected, widely expected, and assumed and presumed to be going number one to the Chicago Bears, a market you know well, a franchise that still has not had a 4,000 yard passer. They just jettisoned Justin Fields, turning the page yet again to another franchise quarterback. They're nesting. They got this great supporting cast that Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus have put together, uh, you know, in, to, to ensure the success of their young franchise quarterback. And then here comes Greg McElroy with a take that got Caleb Williams attention. The number one thing that concerns me most about Caleb Williams, I look at all the players that have been drafted, number one, number two, number three, way up there near the top of the draft, and seldom are the guys that ultimately go on to become elite players, every single one of them has a gigantic chip on their shoulder. Like they're, they're mad at the world or they create some type of false narrative about themselves that people don't believe in them. Caleb Williams has never had that. I mean, Caleb Williams, from the time he stepped on campus at Oklahoma to the time he stepped on campus at SC, he has never experienced adversity. I do wonder about, is there a sense of entitlement? Is there that chip on the shoulder that's going to keep him going 10, 12 years down the road? the way it does Mahomes, who's still pissed that he got drafted 10th. Like, still, to this day, is mad yeah. about that. Tom Brady, who still, you're too old, you're too slow. You can't, I mean, all those guys find that internal, they're almost a little crazy. Just, just be yep. real, you got to be a little crazy to be elite. So, hat tip to This Is Football, hosted by Kevin Clark. Um, that was Greg McElroy, former Alabama quarterback. So then Caleb Williams claps back. Caleb Williams basically goes goes on Twitter uh, and he goes uh, uh, B Rabbit from Eight Mile and goes, "Don't ever try to judge me, dude. You don't know what the I've been through." Okay, so he just lays out all the stuff. He's like, "Look, you know what? I'm bored. I got time today. I looked at my watch. I got time today," and he decides to define adversity. Okay, I like it. I okay. like it. Man, okay, I don't. Why do you, you don't? Like it? No, I'll what? tell you why. But you first, tell since you said why. you like it. You no, you first. You you jumped in and said you okay. like it. Why? Well, Go ahead. You keep well, it. First of all, first of all, because Michael he responded in a way for X, uh, formerly known as Twitter, the artist formerly known. Uh, I can't even put that. I can't even put them in the same category. I'm sorry. I take that back. But uh, for X, this is reasonable. This is polite. Like Caleb Williams had time, but he didn't dig in like he could have. He really could have no, uh, gone in with, he could have gone ten toes in and and put it in, and thrown some hands at him too, I'm just digital digital hands. And so he basically just speaking. says gives you the definition of adversity and what he's gone through. But I I, I could see going even further. How you, dude? How are you gonna tell me I've never been through adversity? What you know about me? You know my mama, don't you know my daddy. To judge me, you, know, dude. you don't know me. You don't know me. So I've never right. been through any adversity. Maybe, maybe, ooh, how about this, Greg? Maybe I've been through adversity and I'm more mature than the other people that you've mentioned and I just handle it better. I don't, uh, you want to talk about, we talked about church folks last week. Church folks say, I don't look like what I've been through. Maybe he's, mm -hmm. maybe he's one of those guys. And so he sure. just smoothed with it and there's he carries it with them, but he doesn't have to share it with everything. He doesn't have to post it and tweet it all the time. And here's the other thing. I'm looking at some of the number one picks. Matthew Stafford got a chip on his shoulder. Peyton Peyton. <laughs> what, what, what chip does jokester Peyton Manning have on his shoulder? Oh, I was a I was a son of a a highly regarded quarterback, Archie Manning. No, there's, uh, my brother, there's a lot of silver, also, there's a lot of silver also, spoon guys. Yeah, there's a lot of silver yeah. spoon guys. At yeah, what, what are, yeah. You or at are you talking? They're elite. Period. You don't. It ain't got to be some sad. It ain't got to be some blues song for you to be mm -hmm. a great <laughs> NFL quarterback or a great right. elite athlete anywhere. And you know, right. like, hey, you know, 
my, my, my mama left, my daddy left, you know, I raised it. I, I had a, they had a conversation with me and I was five years old. I barely knew how to go to the potty and they said, you're right. the man in the house now. I remember like it. Like Denzel and that. Fences. <laughs> hey, come on. Right. What is this? Good times? Shut up, man. You ain't got to be. The original, not the reboot. Um, right. Well, you no, ain't got to I mean, go through nothing. And so I tell me why I you didn't like that. So I'll tell you why I didn't like it. And I don't. I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with your overall premise. And allow me to be the old head. Because it's funny, I, I tell my son a lot. When I, get, when I get frustrated with Mason, once I calm down, I say to him, I was like, I can't imagine what it must be like to grow up with this. Oh. Because I, I know what it does to our heads at this age. Yeah, yeah. And Take so I have, to give him, I have to give him a break and give him peace because this will, and we've talked about this. We, t- we talk about this a lot on this program. Mm-hmm. This will f- you up. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, if you let it, 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 it it's like, and so I'm, I know I'm speaking from an antiquated perspective. Me telling these kids to put the phone down or stay offline, it's like, no, man, that's just not, that's just not the way of the world. It's not, that's not how we live and how, it's not how we operate in 2024. So it's just like, I'm just wasting my time. But the reason I don't like it is... You know, and I, you know how I feel about Caleb Williams. I, I'm a big fan of Caleb Williams. Um, and may, again, it's, it's probably just generational. I just don't like Caleb or anybody else giving people the time of day that, that, that we're talking about that don't know him. Like, with all due respect to Greg McElroy, who, again, I like, I know I know his family. Like, I've, I've known Greg McElroy for a long time. He does a good job. Oh, for real? Okay. Like, yeah, like, I don't know. But okay. from a Caleb Williams standpoint, Greg McElroy. Who is Greg McElroy? Like, it's like, why? Because you're about to enter into a situation where presumably, no matter how much the Bears have tried to set him up for success, presumably he is going to experience adversity unlike what he's experienced so far. Not to say he hasn't experienced any adversity, but unlike any he's experienced so far. And he's going to have to carry a weight unlike the weight that he's carried to this point. And so... I just hope for his sake, but not just his, any of them, man. Like, like you cannot let these people steal your joy, your joy, and you cannot dignify some of these takes out here with a response. Whether it's, you know, what was the one that Stefan Diggs replied to the other day? Uh, you know, Peter Piper picked the pepper or whatever. What I don't know. It's like these, like some of this, at least it's, at least it was Greg McElroy in this in this instance. It's so many random people out here getting these celebrities and athletes attention, and I'm just right. like, yo, man, why, why, why you even, why, why you care? Like he don't, you know, he don't know you. He doesn't know you. We 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 let too many people who don't know us affect us. We let the opinions yeah. of people who have no idea uh, about our lived experiences affect us. I, I can't tell you. I wish I could go back in time and smack the shit out of myself for all the time I wasted <laughs> with people. I have no, I have no idea who they are or what baggage right. they're bringing to the table or what their agenda is. Exactly. So I just, that's, that's part all of it too. For, that's all for me is I don't want this to be a sign of things to come for Caleb Williams where, cause you know how Chicago is, you know, and you know what they expect already. There was already a controversy before he even got drafted by the team between him and his predecessor. In, in, in local media and national media for that matter when it came to the Bears quarterback position. So I just hope that Caleb Williams doesn't have rabbit ears. I hope he never turns into a hit dog who's hollering. I hope but everybody that, does, but that's the problem. No, like you what, know. what you're saying. I know uh, every, I know I, I'd say what what you are advocating for uh, just uh, based on my anecdotal research. What 30% of the population 35% of the population says yep. Uh, they, they live that way. They do it, but most people, and some and some people would say like, "Yo, don't blame him for phone. defending himself, for clapping back, for defending himself." They're talking about him. They're talking about who he is as, as a person, at, at, at his core. Does he have every right to defend himself? Sure. Yeah, but then feels like how, a, how, how a often that exercise. could be a full time. I get your point. That That's could be a full time job. That's all I'm saying. That's all. You know, I'm you saying. just keep going because there's That's always going to be somebody. And we, we don't, did we talk about this the other day, uh, just off the air? And I and I said to you, man, there's so many bad LeBron takes. 
out yeah, there. Yeah, we, right? we were talking about this, and, uh, yeah, last night. Yeah. And I wonder, in, in LeBron, yeah. I, yeah, and I remember when LeBron said, uh, at one point, he, he did the... And uh, he's been guilty of that. Yeah, he did, but he, he actually said what you just said. When he was doing an episode of The Shop, I think I brought this up on the show before, he's doing an episode of The Shop, Lamar Jackson was on, he said, man, I, when I was 25, I really, I care too much. I care too much mm -hmm. about what people were saying. You really, you got to get to the point where you don't care. You don't give a damn about right. what these people have to say. And so, but he's, or even if you LeBron do, is saying, keep it LeBron yourself. is saying that at 30, <laughs> but he's saying that at 38 at the time, 38, 39. Yeah. yeah. And you're saying it, you know, you're about 50. At 44. So, yeah, yeah 50, right. you're about 50. So, right. So you figured that out at 50. So how like, worth the free advice. Yeah, like how long, advice. How, how long does it take? It, it, it right. takes a while. It, it, probably, well, it took you a while. It took LeBron it, a while. It, it took me a while to figure it out. It also, it also may never happen for this, for this generation because this is, all, this is all they know. This is all they know. You and I can compartmentalize, disconnect all these things from it, from it because we know a world without it. They don't know a world without yeah, it. Good point. You had one of, but speaking of, we talk about Caleb Williams. I'm gonna get back to Lamar in a second. But Caleb Williams, you had a, a Drake May uh, item in your feed. You want to connect Drake May with Caleb Williams? Yeah, I mean, take it, Drake. It is, take Drake was always my line. Take Drake, take Drake. Because I look, I like him. I, I like, I, I hear what everybody has to say about it. And this is the time. And this is the beauty of the draft process and the frustrating part of the draft process where you have the attention and the, the, the NFL world, college football, pro football, fans, hardcore fans, fans who have never seen you are all, you got all of their attention. And so what happens is not just, uh, not just Merrill Hodge and uh, Greg McElroy, it's everybody's got something to say about Drake May. And Drake May is that dude now. He was that dude the other way about a month ago where, oh, no question, top three. He's got a little, maybe a little Justin Herbert light. Uh, he's, he's raw and, uh, and unrefined and very talented like Josh Allen was at Wyoming. And wait till you see this guy, you know, get some good coaching. Now it's going the other way. They're taking Drake to the woodshed, Mike. They got all, oh, everybody got something to say about Drake May and it's not very nice. And so... I wonder what he's going through. I hope he looks at the process and says it really doesn't mean anything. There are a lot of people who are predicted. It was predicted they translate beautifully to the, to the game. They haven't to the league. And some people were dismissed and they're still playing at a high level. So uh, it's just it's entertainment right now, but it really doesn't have a lot of nutritional value on April 10th. I'm just curious, and I don't want to get too sidetracked because I want to move on to Lamar, but is that why you uh, moved heaven and earth to get C.J. Stroud out of me instead of just picking up the 103 and taking Drake May? Drake May? Is that, like, did you talk to buy into some of the things that people are saying about Drake May? You decided, hey, let me go throw the kitchen you know, sink like, at Michael for C.J. Stroud? I don't listen to no? okay. I don't okay. listen to the peanut just gallery, checking. Mike. I don't listen just to checking. the peanut gallery. Okay. You know? I just, I just, just stay check. ahead. I just stay focused. I stay focused on what, right. on what I'm doing. Okay. On what okay. I'm doing. Do you hear? What you, you hear Jabril, You hear Jabril Peppers the other day? Just, uh, just kind of throw in the comparison is the thief of joy. Did you hear him just like drop that line there you yesterday? Go. I, that's so, exactly right. That's exactly right. I'm, it absolutely no, I'm is. Not, I was just telling somebody that just, the other day. I'm just focused. Have okay. nothing to do with uh, our trade. Hey, thank you for watching, brother from another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.